So we are on page seven of our 8x8 mini album using the DCWV Once Upon a Time stack. Yay! All right, so on this page, I want to do, I want to do a flip out this way, but I don't want the flip to go all the way to the score line. So I want it to fold out like this. And then I have some scraps that I would like to use, which are, tell you, they are three and a quarter inches wide. And I don't know if I'm going to do flips or maybe I can put a pocket here. All right, so let's just see. Let's just see where this takes us. Um, we have also a regular sheet. I'm going to score this one because I want it to be a flip. So let's do the top to the bottom. So I'm going to cut off this piece here. And I am going to score this. at a half an inch. Okay. Half an inch. And then we're going to cut this part off. Because we don't need it to be too... Although, you know, I'm not going to cut that part off. You know what I'm going to use it for? I'm going to use it for a tuck spot. So just score that piece at the bottom. Okay. And then make sure your score is good on the left. And since we've scored this here and this here, you're going to want to cut out this little corner here and just snip it out like so. Okay. Now this is going to fold up and then this is going to fold back like that. So this tuck spot is now right up front. And it's going to open like that. Okay. So let's put some tape on this. And then we'll put it down. For our first flip. And <clears throat> I'm not going to put tape for our tuck spot. I am going to glue it though. So give this a good crease. Make it nice and flat. So that when you go to put your glue on, you don't struggle for it to stay down. pokey tool and remove the backing of our tape. And we can put a little bit of glue here. We don't need to oversaturate it. I'm just going to turn my book. And I want this to go from edge to edge. So go to the edge of the page. And then 
lay it down. Okay. Now we can burnish it. Alright, now we just need a little bit of glue for our tuck spot. It's just like a little mini pocket. But you don't have to cut off everything, right? Because sometimes we can use it. Okay, so now that flips open. Okay. Now we have our flip. Opens nicely. We have our tuck spot be right there. Now I have these and I don't want to waste them. And I think what I might want to do I, I might want a pocket here. I think I want a pocket right here, like so, like so. Yeah, I want a pocket there. So go ahead and score your half an inch so that you can mark then where that pocket needs to also be scored on this side. So bring it all the way to the edge of the paper. And yeah. Then we're going to score that and we'll cut off the excess. You don't need a lot here either. So I cut off about a quarter of an inch. And we'll tape that up and we'll put our pocket down. If you want to, you can put a decorative edge on your pocket with a die. I'm not going to do that this time, but you guys go right ahead if you want to. Take the backing off of this tape. Especially on this tape line down here, you want to add a little bit of glue. Okay. 
careful of your score lines. Get our rag, wipe up that glue, because we don't want this page to stick <coughs> to our pocket. Nice and clear and free of that area. Okay. So now we have a pocket, a flip, and a tuck spot. So I'm going to take this one here. And I'm going to make like a band to go across. All the way to here. So I'm going to score my half an inch. And I'm going to mark where it needs to be cut off. It's going to cut off right, right about there. So that's going to go here, like so, and then I have another piece here, and I believe I want it to go like this, come down, yes, that's fun, very, very fun, so let's get this one on before we start on the next one. Put a bit of glue. And this one is going to go in the middle. Like so. Yeah. Just like that. glue. Now we're going to score this one for the top. Like so. I want it to move over just a little bit here. Yes. And then I just have to cut it <coughs> right, right here. It's perfect. So let's get this one taped up. And glued down. Okay. 
Perfect. All right, so this is how it goes. We have a flip up, a flip out, a tuck spot, make sure this is glued burn it down really well so it doesn't pop off on you okay so in in and then we have a flip here with another pocket and a big space here I love it I really really love it uh, for closures I'm going to put a magnet on this flip here and then a magnet on this flip here. All right, so we need to get that done. Try to think about those things before putting your paper on, or you'll end up like one of my albums where I've got the backing of paper on top of paper and ripping paper off. <laughs> You don't want to have to do that. So, this one goes here. Okay. So I can fold that back. Now, just cut a little piece, a little tiny square to fit over the magnet, because we're going to use that to stick it to the opposite end of the paper. Just lay it flat, press it down, and your magnet is in a great spot. And now it won't move. It's going to stay right there. And we'll do the same for this. magnet is in another great spot. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. And then this holds down everything else. So we have that. We have that. Then we have that. Perfect. All right. I love it. I love how this turned out. Now, if you want, take your scraps and you can put um, a die here and then make them different shapes. The other thing you can do is use a, a punch and do that instead of a die. So it's up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and grab the paper and first let's pick the paper. <laughs> what paper do we want to use? What we end up with, we had, and there lived a handsome prince. We had that there. So now, we have this. I'm going to put this happily ever after on the back or maybe the inside back. Yes. Because um, I wanted to put Once Upon a Time, this Once Upon a Time on the front. 
Well, it kind of tells a story as you're building your book. Oh, here we go. Let's do, let's look at our page again, okay? Let's do, let's do the fairies. Oh. Let's go for the unicorns. Yeah. Go for the unicorn. get these measured out. I think I want, let me just see. I'm going to try to build this scenery. I'm going to try and build this scenery on all the different parts. And I think I can do it. So that means we're going to have a a piece in this corner here, uh, pieces here, piece here, piece here, here, and here, and here of just this one area, just this one area. Then you're going to have the back of this, this middle piece here, this middle piece here, right? Yep. And then part of this and this whole piece here to cover. So let's cut it down to size first, which is this is an eight by eight album. Our pages are seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters. So let's get that done. Got to clean up as you go. <laughs> Otherwise, you get so frustrated. All right, let's pull our little arm out here. And we've got seven and three quarters. It's right there. Pop that pencil in my hair. All right, so that's our seven and three quarters. And we have to do it again, seven and three quarters. All right, here's our extra pieces. We will need those. So this is what we have to work with. I'm gonna cut this off. Yeah, I'm cutting that brown off on the side. Okay. Whoop. All right. Yeah, much better. And then I need to cut a little bit of this brown off. We've got this down to about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So we start marking. So we know this needs to be covered. What you can do is take your paper and just slide it right up under there like so. Just like that. See how it's where everything else is? So you're going to take your paper and now you're going to mark out here and here, right? And then the rest is going to come to the top and we'll have to figure that part out. So let's do that. So we have this piece here. We have this piece here. 
and we have this piece here Oops. I went a little haywire with my marking there then another one here and now we can cut those out and get those placed You don't have to use your paper trimmer. You can use a nice pair of scissors. Uh, so this goes here. But I'm going to show you something. So this goes here. Just like that. But, it, but you have a flip here. So only a part of this goes on here. And then this part goes on here. So let's mark that so that we have it. Yeah, okay. So now we have to cut that down. Sorry about that. Okay, so this piece is going to go here, and this one is going to go here. So we have to keep that in mind. Then we have this piece. I'm going to go ahead and try and cut it out, see if I can make a straight line. That would be nice. Okay. this one goes here but both of these right here are going to have to be cut because they are sitting on our tuck spot so let's get this one down and we're going to cut this one right here and basically the same cut's going to go here which means we're going to have to have a piece that goes here. So let's get this cut. Those two there. Those two there. Okay, so we've got this bottom portion done. Now we have to do this top portion here and this top portion here. Let's go ahead, cut that out. So this one is going to go here, but we're going to have to cut it because it's on the flap, this flip here. So let's go ahead and cut it there. It's like a little puzzle piece. You're creating a puzzle. So those two go together, and that goes here. And then we have this top corner here. And this one, we are good to go on. We do not have to cut on this one. Okay. One goes like so, and this one goes like so. Yeah, it's gonna go there. This one goes over here. And this one goes here. Here. We have this one that's going to go here, and this one that's going to go here. It's 
actually turns this way. All right, so we have our space here and here. So let's go ahead and close this. Try not to move all your pieces. And we're going to close this one, right? I saw that, that fell. And that leaves us with this. So we're going to have to cut, let's see here. We're going to have to cut right here, all the way down. And then this piece all the way down. All right, so let's get that cut. All right, this one is going to go over here. I'm cut a little bit off the bottom, just a, just a hair, just a couple of hairs. That's going to go here. And then this one, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off, that off. And this will slide right underneath here and go there. But again, I have to cut a little bit off. I'm going to cut a little bit off the top. There. That's going to go there. And our horse, of course, it's a unicorn, it's not a horse, is going to go on this flap. Perfect. So before you start cutting out the other papers, I strongly suggest that you go ahead, ink the outside edges of these papers here in the black soot that we've been using, and then uh, get these glued down. And then come back and work on that, on the other paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these inked up, get them taped up, and then I'll come back. All right, so I got the front pieces on, and now I have cut out pieces for this. Did I cut one out for that? I may have missed this one, so we'll see. But I did cut one for this one, I cut one for this, and I cut one for this flap here. All right, but I know for a fact I missed cutting this one, so let's get some scraps together and see if we can't get that covered up. Get our scrap box out. That's what I get for cleaning up. Alright. That would be really pretty. And it would be, maybe it would be prettier with this one here. Let's see, let's see. No. I really like this compared to what we have. What about this one here? Oh yeah, that's pretty. Okay, so let's use that one. Get this measured out. Okay. I would like to put the flower in there, so I'm going to cut it here and over here, and then I'm just going to slide this over like so, and I'm going to cut it. Alright, a couple of little cuts. I'm going to 
start on our long side first. That way we can use this piece for another project. Then we can cut out the short pieces. character. So let's ink up the edges on this. Nice. Okay, and we'll put some tape on here. cover all four sides of the paper. I put it right up to the edge so that it lays nice and flat in the area I'm going to lay this down on. pokey tool, take our tape backing off. This will be the first piece we put down for all those odd spots that we had going on. Okay, a little bit of glue. the center. And we put our paper down. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. So that one's covered. And I have a piece for this one. So let's go ahead and remove the backing of our tape over our magnet so we don't accidentally put it in there. Leave the backing on by accident. So I've done that a bazillion times. And it doesn't hurt the project, but if you can prevent it, then that's what's best. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been talking all day, so I'm losing my voice. A little bit of glue. this piece here which I have here and only a tiny bit of it goes inside of our tuck spot there let's get our tape backing off of this one and I tried to stay <clears throat> within the uh, color scheme <clears throat> there's only one piece 
that I cut that is not within the color scheme but I just really wanted to use a fairy on this page and this is the fairy I cut out I printed her off of Pinterest and all I did was type in fairy and I got like a bazillion fairies and I really liked her so she is going to go on top If you get her and you want to put her in the middle, go right ahead. But I'm going to put her on top so it's like a surprise when um, they open it up. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. And I made a tag for this. And it's in the shape of a page flag. And that goes just like that. So let's put that down and work on this. This is where our fairy is going to go. And I just printed her out on regular um, printer paper. A lot of the times I'll use uh, cardstock to print out stuff like this, but not this time, and there's no particular reason why. I just didn't. If you are going to use printer paper, whatever you do, uh, don't put any liquid glue on it. Because remember, it's printer paper is so porous, it will just saturate quickly. So you only want to use your tape on here. down. Yay. Awesome. I think she turned out beautiful. This is her. And isn't that just the nice, nicest pop of color over the purple with a fairy? I think that's really nice. Okay. Wow, so we have to do our insides. Our insides to do. And I have created <clears throat> this unicorn to fit on top of this pocket. This goes this way. And then up here, like so. I think it turned out cute. And we will do that. And this is another way to create a page that's not too thick, but can fit a lot. A lot of photos, journaling, whatever, uh, whoever you're making it for, whatever they want to use it for. Okay. It's nice, and there is our pocket. Now we'll do the top part. Put some 
glue on the back of that as per usual wow. Man, get this out of my way. Try not to hit the top of your pocket. Or the score line on the right, on the left. My left, your right. Alright. Perfect. And I made a tag for this pocket. And it's basically the same paper. So that goes in there like so. And then I have this piece that goes here, like this. Yeah. And I went on ahead and put a lot of tape on this one because it is a bigger piece. I want the stability. And this uh, paper that we're using in this paper stack is pretty thick. It's pretty thick. So it's hard. It's actually hard to take your black cardstock, this paper, and then the paper you want to cut underneath to put in a die cutting machine because it doesn't want to cut through all that thick paper. I've actually split a plate, one of my die cutting plates, uh, cutting two thick, many thick papers at the same time. the way that this turned out. Alright, so this page, it will flip up here, and then you have her, which is a nice surprise. Ooh, sorry about that, hitting the camera. Then this one flips out, like so, and then you have a tag here in your little tuck spot. You could turn it, if you cut it like me, you could turn it like that. Then close that, close that, and you open it up here. Well, I think that turned out really, really nice. And this came out really cool too with the tag. I hope you guys enjoyed making this page with me. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be glad to get back to you. Have a great one. Bye.